And welcome back everyone, welcome back to this video, Muckle Machines 2. I'm of course Black Shadow and uh, yeah, a pretty solid first video um, into challenge mode. But again, first fair few races are oh, pretty simple though. Um, we haven't won every single one of them, must be said. Uh, but we're pushing on now into the uh, middle of the challenge mode here where the game gets a lot, lot harder for sure. We're going to start meeting some of the better races of the game, um, including I believe one of them is here. Yeah, Emil's actually not, he's generally not too bad a racer. There's some pretty tough races that we have yet to um, take on so far. The AI gets a huge advantage with some speed, it's pretty brutal. Anyways, time to whine on. Whoa, late on that. You're also fine as well, as that obviously the tracks are going to gradually start getting a bit longer as well. I believe um, Emil in yellow here is um, overall quicker than us on straight. I can't remember. He's so shy and he's so good on the street, he's totally fucked it and fallen off the damn track. That is awesome. <laughs> what a result. Even the AI can have problems sometimes. It does happen. I'll swing on past here. Mind the uh, the spilt wine bottle there. That is very hazardous. Shit. That's a problem. If we want to get first place, that's going to be pretty tricky now. We got a lot of catching up to do. I cannot believe I just did that. And I can't believe I just did that as well. Uh. Right, the priority here is that we just make qualification. That's the main thing. As I say, you only ever need second place in these races. Um, it's only the very last race of challenge mode you have to win outright. Um, so you only want all the rest of them. You can, you can get away with second place. That will do. Right, you want to go wide here, make sure you dodge it. Otherwise, what happens is you'll sort of race onto that and you'll kind of slide up and then there's that fork there you end up falling behind. It's pretty bad. I don't think I'm catching Emil. I'm like five sec three, four seconds behind him. I'm not going to catch him. I think we're going to have to um, just uh, be satisfied with second place here. Over the wine. Just screw it with your handling. Yeah, he's just... Emil's a really is a is a pretty solid racer, um, and I just don't think we're gonna catch him. He's too good for me. Still pretty solid though. But yeah, it's identified this one, yeah. Emil's like really quick, and the other two are not that great. Um, so you know that's fine. Well, I actually made distance on him. Close the gap from about three and a half, four seconds to about one and a half there. So, if we had like a five lap race, I think I would have made that. Regardless, it's qualification. It'll do. Although, the likelihood of us getting many more shots at um, extra lives is now pretty low. So, I have five lives, three to start with, plus two. We're going to have to make it last. Oh man, the roller coaster. This is a tough race. This is an easy one to, if you don't know the track, you may not win this at all. This is a pretty tricky race. Sorry about that. The problem is you're driving a lot in sports cars that are super quick and have really, they do not handle well, they're very slidey, so um, there is a there is certainly a lot of, um, you have to work to, hop to, to race these cars well. I'm not necessarily the best at racing these. These, um, these races on these sort of tracks are tough. Here we go. So we swing round. Yeah, do you just see that? The acceleration is nuts, but the handling is ludicrous. So you cannot win this race by just going full pelt. Yeah, at times you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to brake. You're going to have to slow down. Round the plate pots here. Ooh. Ah, oh, yes, I did just find the gap, everyone. Can you believe I just found the gap? Right, swing here. You must make sure you're racing straight here because you're making a jump over to the paint roller. You've got to be going straight, otherwise you, um, you're um you going to miss that and it's going to be bad news, Browns. Bad news, Browns? What the hell does that even mean? Bad news, Bears? I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> I see it. Get back here. Can't believe I found the gap in the middle there. There's no real advantage to taking the small one on the left. Whoa! Um, there isn't much of one. But yeah, you see how slidey these are. Even the AI does struggle with these cars. They're just so darn slidey. 
Force our way in on the inside there. Although I've had to give up the inside lane there. It's going to be a pretty tight race at first. I've got to take the outside again. Mind the uh, mind the wallpaper there. Oh no. Go. No! I haven't got enough speed. Oh man. Not enough speed. I didn't make it. Oh. That sucks. It's a pain in the ass to jump that. Absolute pain in the buttocks. <sighs> Sorry if I definitely have one there, but that was very disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll take the qualification at least. So All right, then. Race tr uh, 13. Unlucky for some. And unlucky for the dude who's stuck in the sand. Who uh, is... He, we're literally racing around and over a guy. There's Jeremy there. He's a pretty tough racer. He's usually pretty quick. Also a pompous ass. Go! Jeremy in the blue here, who is, um, again, pretty pretty nifty, pretty quick. Pretty good racer. They are usually pretty strong on him there. Race round here. Here's the guy's feet. They do... Uh, those two... Those toes do actually wobble. It's pretty cool. Over the sand dunes, around there. These um, little dunes here, um, they will actually force your car in a certain direction. Um, so like uh, that will, that's literally pushing my car uh, around a circle there. Um, we'll be seeing more of these dunes as we go along. Just crash into that dude's foot. What's wrong with you, Jeremy? As I totally botched that. I was like ready for a corner that just never turned up. Around the spade. Jeremy flying through there. Oh no! Gone wide! Need to cut him on the inside! Got him! Ooh! Just about. Just about. Not too bad. Bastard. <laughs> Jeremy's a the ass. Ah! Piano Panic! Now, this is a, uh, a fun little race as we approach certainly into the halfway now. Um, this is, I believe, is the first race in the game. We'll be driving these uh, monster trucks here. I believe this is the first race in the game where every single racer, all four cars in this one, have the exact same speed. So this is simply about being better than the AI. There's none that are like faster than or slower than you. Everyone is exactly the same speed. So it's all about just um, being the best. Yeah, you see, yeah, you see, everyone's got the same top speed here, so this is just about um, simply out racing. Swing on the outside here. It's a couple of left hand turns around the cassette player. Bruno's usually a very good racer, though. Bruno's usually very good. Uh, swing down here over the um, guitar picks. Over the piano. Nice, right? Ooh, yeah, that's a dodgy jump because you've got that bongo drum there. So you kind of like easy hit. The trick is trying to jump but miss it. Wow, did Bruno fall down? There's loads of position switching going on there. If you see that on the um, on the, the uh, HUDs there. Whoa, that was a dodgy jump. I nearly botched that. Ah. Crash against the, uh, the maracas there, I believe they are. Maracas? Maracas? Whatever. Instrument of destruction. We'll go with that. Whoa! Nearly overswung that there. Bruno right behind me. Back of the piano. I'm just jumping on the black keys now. <laughs> so the trick is. Oh, damn. The trick is to try and take that jump, but like at an angle so you miss the bongo drum there. That's the idea. It's tricky to land. But it does um, shave a fair few seconds off, especially if it's pretty close. So far, I'm happy you got a lead. Didn't, I was kind of worried I was going to fall behind here because if you fall behind this race, it's really tricky to catch up. You need to get in front and stay in front. Swing around here. Take it nice and wide. Not that wide. Not that wide. Over the guitar picks. Over the piano. Gives you a good idea of where people are. So you want to try and... Yeah, like that. And that way you can keep your speed going. Round the side of the music music deck there. I did not expect to do that, but that's a nice little uh, path there. 159.88. Not too shabby. Nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. nice. Alright, next up we have the bathtub burn off in Dragsters. Yes, folks, a bathtub. It is not the most ridiculous place we're going to be racing in this game, I can assure you of that. There are some absurd ones. This is a tough race. Because we are literally racing along the side of a bathtub, and that happens a lot. You've got to be really careful not to um, uh, go off the side of the edge here. So, when you see the corner coming, slow down. If you go full pace, you're just going to fly off. You just take that from experience. Um, again, having done this race a fair few times. Also, by the way, who has the toilet so bloody near to the bathtub? That seems really inconvenient. Past um, Duck Corner there. Oh, guess who didn't slow down? Yours truly. Guess who's about to pay the price when the AI catch him? Yours truly. That lead is gone. Over the towel racks. Oh, no, I took it away early. Oh, shit. I think we've lost a life. We've lost a life. Had to try and take the corner. Thanks. That did not go well. Fiddly track. Fiddly, fiddly track. That is a life gone, everyone. Damn. Right, we have to try this again then, folks. But yeah, it's just it's just really easy to get this wrong here. And that first corner, it's like a proper Formula 1. It's like that first corner is just a mess. Can you imagine doing this like with um, more than... Uh, but with like more than four cars. My goodness. Yeah, we are equal speed with green. I believe blue is slightly faster. So we're stuck on the outside here though. Which is unfortunate. Ah, oh, tried to smack him off. Did not happen. Ah, oh, went for it again there. Did not work. Nearly cut the corner too far there. It nearly went flying into the bathtub. Oh, I nearly did it again. Right, the trick here is to... Not take those corners so sharply. You need to go out on the outside. It was like a racing line. I've lost this as well. Shit. There's very little margin for error in this one. Oh, maybe I can still catch this. No! Oh, man. So crash into the bathtub in feet. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, this is a tricky race, this. That's two lives down though. That is, that is unfortunate. There's some tough races coming up as well. That is bad. Cannot be taking these losses. Right, come on, Shadow. You need this. Go. What? <laughs> they all went. Oh my gosh. So, of course, I go as well. Wow. Opportunity lead gone. Not good. I'm not racing this guy. I need to focus here. Right. I have to take... I need to be a bit more cautious. Here. I think I'm just trying to go too quick and I'm just causing my own issues here. Slow down for these corners. Just, just come off the pedal. Oh, my gosh. Nearly went off the edge again. There is a lot of trick as well into like being able to turn a corner and turn it so that your vehicle is automatically straight rather than constantly like circling and straightening yourself. Yes. I like doing that. Two attempts. At least we finally got there though, right? Man, that was, that was tricky. That was really, really tricky. But at least we did it right. Right, next up is the Banked Oval, uh, which is literally what it is, folks. This is literally an oval. It's like a NASCAR race, this. That's pretty much what this is, except in beach buggies um, in the midst of sand dunes. So this is um, usually entertaining. Wow, that was a hell of a start. Whoa, went wide, though. 
yeah, the trick to getting those boosts off there at the start is not to hold the, um, you don't want to hold the acceleration button all the way to start. You need to, like, just, just press it just as the race starts. Oh, man. That's from these, these ovals, though. If you go off the track, trying to get back on is tricky. Wow. How is that legal? I do not know how that's legal, but apparently it was. Just letting the AI just, um, steer me there. Oh, not the AI, but the game. These ovals will say, but they will push you along, so... Yeah, we're doing that for me nicely. That's literally all this is, folks. It's literally just going around in an oval. It's like a proper NASCAR race. Not too bad. I'm on, not too bad. Challenge mode isn't overall too shabby. It's like you say, the reason I want to do the Super League as well in this is because that is really hard. Treehouse Tiles. This is a tough race, though. This is really tricky. Both Emil and Bruno, and both of them are going to make my life miserable. I'm trying to remember the exact um, layout of this race here. I feel like I should look this up. I need to look this up. Hold on. Don't feel afraid to. Um, I mean, obviously, this sort of resource is not necessarily particularly available um, back in the uh, in the past, but it is certainly worth looking. Let's watch this. Triage tiles. Let's have a look at this one here. So move it up. Right, yes, yes. All right, now I remember this track now. Lovely. Need to highlight the uh, window there. Here we go. These four by fours are usually pretty tough to um, ride because these these um these tracks on like these um, the wood and all this are usually some of the hardest um, tracks in the game. That's why lots of narrow pathways, lots of ways things can go wrong. Um, and driving these is pretty true. This is a tough jump coming up here. We've got a massive jump to make here, which is really easy to botch. Oh, gosh, you... Oh, that's unlucky. You always have to, like, turn in a fraction, um, which is hard to do. I need to see the track here. What am I doing? Right, going down, and then it's a dog leg down the bottom end here. Mind, yeah. A, a lot, And you'll find as well, a lot of the track itself is physically blocked, so you have to, like, prepare for that, and... Um, Get ready to circle around. That's a nasty little dent there. Wow, Emil's gone again. Or was that Bruno? They get who's who. Ooh, lucky. Hopped over the gap there. That was just pure luck. This is really hard to do because you have to like, yeah, turn at the last moment. Otherwise, yeah, you just you just go flying off the other edge. It's a really really tough jump. Really fiddly. I mean, I still struggle with it. I, when I was practicing this, my goodness me, the amount of times I just flew off it, pain in the ass. Crash into the brick. That's never good. In decent shape at first place, but we need to hold it to not fall off the log. Go down, down, down. There we are before um, that gap there falls, which we will die to. We will die. Turn slightly. Oh my gosh, that was close. Uh, generally not a bad way to do it is actually just don't accelerate and try and like stop onto it, but um, I've yeah, that's another way of doing it, but yeah, it's it's tricky nonetheless. That's a tough race. I think that's really like one of the tougher races in the whole challenge mode. I really do. That's a good win. That is a really good win. Suli never gets anywhere near um, the lead. Never anywhere near. Emil and Bruno are just too quick for her. Wow, we've actually got another shot of an extra life. I could do with this. Could really do with this. This will be the same track as the one we failed the last time, folks. Um, that will not change. Here we go. That's not a good start. Focus shadow. I may not be doing much talking here. Swing down. Down here. Down, down, down. Down, left. Up. Across. No, back, back, back. Yes, I just reversed to victory. That works. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Right then, I suppose we'll do a couple of more here. Uh, next up is Vice Squad, which I believe is a pretty relatively straightforward track as he quietly looks at his um, notes. Yeah, this one's a, the track itself is really straightforward, but um, the actual um, maneuvering of this can be a bit tricky. 
Bruno will be a fairly consistent um, participant for the rest of this now. And he's usually quick. Oh, no, caught in the glue. Shit. So, it's called Vice Squad because there are vices we have to race through, which do shorten down. Past the drill. I got some catching up to do here. Yeah, you've got to mind that oil. That oil makes life miserable. Around the outside of... Uh, Br wow! What on earth? Oh no! I got caught on that as well. All sorts of disasters there. We're going to struggle to make second place now. Over the oil, which kind of slipped me up there. No! Oh man, that's bad. That is race over. The extra life we just got... Gone. Damn. The voice is going to be a bit unforgiving with their connections. Although I think we were a bit unlucky there. Oh, is that Chen in the in yellow? Bruno must be in green. Damn. Yeah, the track itself is really straightforward. It's just the AI are a bit of a pain in the ass here. Yeah, Bruno was in the green. My bad. He's the one who escaped that massive pile up. Mind the oil. There we go. That's a better start. Once I got caught in that oil to start with as well. Tricky. There we go. That's better! Oh, I nearly went too far. Nearly totally overshot that. You can see how quick Bruno is. Just smashing into the back of... Um... Man! Blue there! Oh! That's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. I caught the screw which made me jump. That's bad. This is really bad, everyone. I don't think I can make this. Oh! Wow! Can I hold for second? Oh! Just about. I don't know what happened. There seemed to be a pile up at the vice again. Which seemed to benefit me. Chen got thrown out. Davey got caught up as well. Managed to take in there at the last. That was pretty close. My goodness. Whew. Yeah. Right. We're going to see the last race we'll do here for this video. Musical hits. This is a nice one. It's actually like, um, you notice in this whole game, there's not like any music or anything playing um, while the race is in. This is the one exception. There is technically some music playing, which is pretty cool. It's a fun little track, this. Although, it has some tricky bits. Like a lot of them now. See Bruno again. We'll be seeing those in it. Here we go. You recognise the track quickly. I'll stay quiet for this a little bit. We've got a race along xylophones. Mind the hammers. They will make your life pretty miserable. Here we go. There's another one down here. Not straight enough. You have to slow down because it'll just bounce you off. Ooh. Lucky. Lucky boy. Yes, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is currently being performed. You have to slow down, otherwise you go too fast, you just start bouncing on them if you're offline. So you have to sort of stop to straighten up, otherwise you just bounce across it and fall off. I used to play Zarfo a little bit when I was younger as well. So, I get how they worked. I actually quite enjoyed it. When I was but a, a, wee, a wee lad. No, you bastard! Yeah, you see how that just straightens up there? That's tricky. It was not the worst connection, actually, with um, that thing there. But the AI usually get caught pretty with that. That's lucky. Wow, just, just went straight over me there. I think I actually had a pretty decent string of luck there with that one. It's a pretty solid race. Bruno last. Wow, you do not see that often. I think he probably got smited by um, a uh, hammer of justice there. It's much like what happened there. Very strange seeing him last. Right then, that is going to be the end of the video, folks. I thank you guys for watching. Next time, we have uh, races 20 to 25 to take on. The next one up being Toast of Trouble, which is... The, the AI are very good at this one, and I'm not very good at this race. This, out of all the races in this game, this is probably what I struggle with quite a lot. Um, because of the nature of it. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Uh, but that will have to be for next time. So I thank you guys for watching, and yeah. I will see you all. Yeah.